in our previous class we had seen how to convert a date time from one time zone to another time zone with the help of XSLT mapper in Oracle integration 3. With that approach we had made use of this adjust date time to time zone function in order to convert current time of your current server time or your current country's time to a target country's time with the help of this offset. So in order to make use of this adjust time to time zone function we have to convert the offset to date time duration type then only this function will be able to generate the target country's date time. So we had considered the example of New York so I had passed this minus 4 hours offset as we are recording this class on 2nd of August 2023. Currently there is the DST offset running for the New York time zone it is minus 4 hours but after 5th of November 2023 it will turn to 5 hours. Now the problem with this approach was every time the DST starts or DST ends we have to manually come to this mapper and modify the offset. So in order to overcome this problem we have a solution for this which we can design with the help of libraries in Oracle integration. In order to demonstrate a use case I have created this integration wherein we are calling a javascript function. I will show you how the function looks like. Within this library I have created one function so as you see the function name is convert date time 1 but it will vary as per your naming convention used in the project and it is supporting one input parameter wherein we will pass the source country's time and in the response of this javascript function we will get the target country's time for which we want to convert. Like for example I am having this server running in India I want to convert the time for our US client so I want to generate the time what is in the US. Like this we can make use of the javascript function in order to convert the date time from India's time to New York's time irrespective of DST starts or ends. So accordingly our javascript function will decide as per the time running currently when the javascript function runs and it will generate a target country's time. Whatever we get in the response that we will map over here in the mapper. Like as you see over here whatever was the response we get from javascript function we are mapping over here. So this use case you can use in order to build solutions for your customer wherein your customer resides in one country and the customer server that is oracle integration runs in another country. Now let's see how to generate this javascript function. Before we go ahead with the solution with javascript I want to show you this track overflow query wherein someone has asked xslt convert utc to tz time zone. So there is a very good solution provided by one of the person over here for this question that is to make use of this function which will convert the date time from one duration to another duration that is by using format date time function. The first argument is the source time, next is the format what we want to convert, then is the locale, then the country is time zone. Now unfortunately Oracle integration 3 supports XSLT 2.0 version at the time of recording this class. Suppose in future if you are watching this class suppose like one or two years later. If your integration supports XSLT 3.0 then you can make use of this function and you can avoid creating the redundant library in order to achieve the same case. Now currently in XSLT 2.0 the argument supported is only up to here and we cannot provide more than two arguments. It is not supported. Now let's go ahead and see how to build the JavaScript function. 